Hey everybody, Steve Cook with Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com here with Adrian Ballou. How you doing? Good, how are you? Your, your resume reads like a who's who of rock and roll and the like. I mean, I don't want to sit here and inflate your ego too much, but, oh, wow. but if... Go ahead. Okay, Wikipedia, just do, I mean, pause this for a second. Wikipedia and then go back, and then it reads <laughs> like this long on a screen of who you worked with. So it's an honor for me to be standing here with you, and I appreciate your time today. Thanks, uh, my pleasure. So we are in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. And uh, we're 12th and Porter, getting ready for a show. Gonna be a big show, this is where I live, so you know, I'm gonna have friends and family and lots of right. things ha going on, and I'm really excited about it. That's awesome, and you get to sleep in your own bed tonight. Yeah. Which is good. For the next few days, in fact. We have Beautiful. about an, a 10 day break before we resume, and we do 18 more shows. Excellent. Promoting big, the new record. It's been a big tour. Promoting? Well, there's not a new record. There is a new music app that okay. comes out this Tuesday. It's called Flux, music that is never the same twice. It's a concept that I've had for many years, and it's taken about five actual years of, of recording it and working on it to bring it to fruition. It's hundreds of bits of pieces of music and songs, and they come at you in a feather, fairly rapid pace, and they're they're interrupted by little things we call snippets, which could be anywhere from about a second to say 15 seconds long. And um, so you're listening to a portion of a song and all of a sudden maybe a car horn or a telephone rings or something and then you're on to the next piece. Wow. And, and it has visuals. It's an app for iOS, uh, iPhone and iPad. And those visuals are always different, always changing too. So it plays for half an hour each time you play it. and each half an hour is going to be Different never the same as any other half an hour, ever. So you've always embraced technology, you know. I mean, you've always sort of reached out. I'm, you know, dare I say left of center and, and tried to use what we have available at the time. Yeah, and I've been really, really fortunate that, that technology, music technology, has right, like been right alongside my career. They've just gone. When I started, you had an amp and a guitar. Sure. And that's it. And now I play through a laptop computer. <laughs> and some other toys. And everything that's and been, yeah, well, and everything. I'm just making the point sure. how far it's gone right. in, that, uh, in that period of time. And I, I love technology for these reasons. It, it always excites me to find something I could never do before. A new sound, a new technique, right. uh, some new device that, that creates something for me to work with, inspires me to write new music, and then becomes a part of that music. And that's the beauty of what we do, you know, and having the, the inspiration hit you from other places, not necessarily maybe guitar, but the weird noise you got from said technology. Yeah, or, you I mean, know, just way, way, way places. back when I started making, you know, animal noises and I made a rhinoceros snorting kind of sound, I thought, well, you got to have a song to put that in because otherwise <laughs> it's just a goofy gimmick, you right, know? Right. So I wrote The Lone Rhino, my first solo record around that idea. Beautiful. Yeah. And speaking of beautiful, you're holding your number one. This is my number one baby right here in the world, made by Parker, of course. Your signature model? This is the Adrian Blue signature model. And um, the only real things I changed about the actual guitar, because Ken Parker had already perfected the guitar, um, and he did that somewhere along the, the line in the 80s. So when I decided to make this my, my guitar all the time, I just wanted to bring on to it on board some of the uh, latest technology sound-wise. So you have the Variac system here, okay, which gives you 25 different types of guitars, 12 strings, acoustics, sitar, dobro, How many of these are you, are you using? I don't show? use any of them in the live show. Okay. I, it's strictly a studio thing that okay. I do because I don't have time to really dial them in. You can, someone sure. can do that. It's very easy to do. It's uh, either in its off position now, if I press it down, it's on. This knob right here is the same. If I pull it up, it's the sustainer pickup. Okay. And uh, if you click it, there's a little click at the end. You hear that? Yep. Then it goes into the higher octave. And of course, I use the sustainer throughout the show. And, and, and for those that don't know, I mean, sustainer is just 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 what it it's says it is. Endless. Endless it's, sustain it's on endless. every note you play. Uh, this is the master volume, and it does three master volume things at once because of the fact that it's it's controlling the piezo pickup, it's controlling the MIDI guitar part, and the sustainer. So it's got a lot of work to do, this little master volume. Well, no, this isn't true MIDI, is it? Is it? We were this talking earlier with your tech, pin. that's how I know. Okay, yeah, so it's 13 right. pin. It's a 10 right. pin. Okay. And uh, 
Now, the only other thing I changed about the guitars, I asked them to put on these custom car finish paint jobs, 12 stage paint jobs that kind of look nice under lights. And that's a mahogany body? Is that what? Bass, basswood, I think. Basswood, yeah, okay, because so. your signature model, the, yeah. the production model is mahogany, that's why uh, I asked. But, okay, well then it's mahogany. Know, it's mahogany. <laughs> sure, it, we're basswood, either you're, one. You're asking me, either one. I don't know. Sure. Guitar, why sure. would I know? The volume control, is that running, uh, so these are all same level? You yeah. said it controls yeah, three things. Yeah, they should okay. be same level. Okay. There, are, there are there's some little holes here in the back, you see, okay. that can adjust the uh, the the levels of the of the, the two pickups and the piezo. Okay. So what you have on this guitar five-way switch-wise, this is that pickup. Mm -hmm. The middle is the piezo pickup, and this is the bridge pickup. Gotcha. Um, in between are combinations, bridge and piezo, or here. Uh, neck pickup and piezo. And that's what kind of pickup in the... That in is the, a DiMarzio. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is an original brand's uh, sustainer. Gotcha. So what else Beautiful. can I tell you about it? It's got the best tremolo system I've ever played. Talk about that. It's not a spring system, is it? It's not. It's a, it's a kind of a thin bar. It's shaped a little like that. And it flexes as you use the guitar. I've got this set up so that I can play the guitar down or a full third up. Stays perfectly in tune, it's got Spurzel tuners. And, and the best neck I've ever played, which is why I love my guitar. What's the profile on that neck? Is it just... It's super thin and it's super quick and because of the, the... There's perfect intonation on this neck. Now, with the Parker Fly, what they do is they, they coat it in the back with some kind of carbon epoxy, I think is what it's called and they bake it in an oven okay. when it's still a piece of wood. And what happens, that, that uh, increases the tensile strength of the wood by 10,000. So this neck is not going to move no matter what. Uh, so when you're, you're flying or you're... You, you can know, stand on it in your gotcha. kitchen if you want. No and problems. That, and it's gonna stay perfectly. Now also, one new thing that I've, I've just started doing in this tour is using these new strings the Adario strings, they're called NYXL, mm -hmm. NYXL, and I swear to you, I, you saw me, I, I just put a brand new set on. <laughs> brand new set, took five seconds to do, because I just boop, through here, cut them off. Right. And I tuned it once. Stays in tune. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, what, what else can you ask <laughs> you of a guitar? Can't. You, you know. Can't. Uh, also, of course, it weighs four or five pounds, so it's right. you know very, very nice and light. Feels really good to play, and I couldn't love it more. It's my favorite. It's your number two. This is my number two. Just a up? different color. Yeah. Same guitar. And you're right. It is super light. Yeah. Yeah. Super so light. So everything is the same. Everything is the same. A little road worn here. You relic yeah, that one. You know that happens. I didn't. I didn't. Someone else did. Oh, I take sorry. very good care of these guitars, <laughs> but. Somebody knocked it over somewhere in Japan, you. I believe. And that's a good shot right there of the, uh, the 13 pin. Yeah. When you get before, because yours is plugged in, obviously. So. Right. And that's. Now, and, and, now, when they sent me my production model of this, they actually sent me one that already had my autograph on the back. <laughs> How does that happen? That's, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I told them I could have done that myself, but this one you didn't. Can, you can sign this one. I'll like, sign that one later. Whoops. And uh, <laughs> you know, and one other thing too that maybe people don't know about these is this, the truss rod adjustment down here, which yeah. is pretty cool. I don't know if you could shoot a shot. Yeah. Get that. That's pretty interesting. I love these guitars. They just sing Super. for me. They they resonate cool. perfectly. Stay in tune. They've got the best feel. Uh, they just make me play better, so <laughs> well, I don't know what else I could do. Now, you know, at, at home, if we were 30 minutes away at my home, uh, I've got a studio full of all kinds of great guitars and all types, and uh, I love those too. They all have great characteristics and change, you know, you'll never get anything quite like a Gretsch out of a big old Gretsch, sure. you know, for sure. example. But uh, with this and the, with the Variac system, it comes pretty close to doing, be, being able to do just about anything. And, you know, with your rig, with the samples, with the, you know, we'll get to the, the, the full rig in a minute, but you've got 
consistency night in and night out you mm-hmm. know, as far as your tone as far as your yeah. you know necks don't move the you know the right. community doesn't you know mess with it you know so and you I, need that i keep this one right here with me at all times it, it, it stays i pretty much sleep with it it's it's light enough you can <laughs> carry it anywhere my wife doesn't mind <laughs> <laughs> well can you uh, do you mind taking a second and playing some of your favorite patches or some, yeah, some yeah, patches sure. for us here's a here's the the most uh basic patch I have, which, which is called Jimmy, spelled like Jimi Hendrix, just as a tribute to Jimmy. And it's a, just a clean, compressed guitar sound. But if you use the, uh, the expression pedal that's beside it, watch what happens. Turns it backwards. Right. Uh, that's all being done, of course, in the axe effects. In the fraction, right. Uh, that's a basic program. Here's a, here's a basic uh, kind of um, give you a, a basic um, soloing sound. This one's called Elephants. <laughs> That one in particular, I think, is modeled after kind of a rectifier type sound. And what I like to do a lot in my solo world, as people have probably noticed by now, is pretend that I play really fast. And the way that I pretend I play fast is I have this device over here called the Digitech Harmony Man. And the Digitech Harmony Man, you can set different intervals, Mm -hmm. and if you use the intervals without the original signal, you get things like this. Now I'm just playing one note, but watch what happens. I'm just going to play a couple notes. You thought I think I play fast, but I'm not playing fast. Can I borrow that? You can have that. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) <laughs> I actually have that also with Digitech. We made the uh, Impossible pedal, which does the same thing if you want, if you work in the stomp shop, you know, the, the setup they have that's mm-hmm. all pedals. Mm-hmm. It's one pedal. You can download lots of pedals right. into it. We have one called the Impossible pedal that's modeled after what that does, and it gives you four different pitches. So, very nice. It is very nice. Let's see. Uh, Big Electric Cat. One of the, maybe the, I think it's the first song on my first solo album in 1982. That's a, an octave device thing, so you want to have your, your pickup in the neck position, and you get... Now, did you go back and sample some of your original stuff from I didn't sample anything. What okay. I did is I happened to have a, a, a full closet, walk-in closet, we call it the magic closet, of all the effects I've ever had. Okay. Uh, I've stored everything and now they're all set up in this closet. They're all active. You can, you can uh, via five patch bays, you can go from one to another. Wow. So what I did do is go back and, and do a kind of a manual, you know, a, a manual modeling of, of my sound. Of, of I, sound I went back and said, okay, here's the original Fox Tones ben, uh, tone uh, machine, which is what that sound originally was. Mm-hmm. How can I get that out of this? And, right. and I, um, I had some help from uh, a few of the people at, at uh, Fractal Audio. Matt Picone, in particular, came and helped me for a couple of days. And we sort of went through all the things that I would need to do this particular batch of material along with the particular batch of material that I play with uh, Crimson Project, because mm-hmm. those are the two live shows that I put on. And so right here at my feet with just very little gear, I can pretty much do anything I want that, that I used to do. If, if, for example, I wanted to do, a, let's say I wanted to do a, uh, let me find a, you're seeing a lot of titles like Crimson titles. Right. Um, I'm smiling I'm, over here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for, there's frame by frame, here's beatbox guitar. For example, if I wanted to do like a whale sound, you know. That's the sound there, it's called drive. Um, I have, 
interesting, curious sounds that, that I've kind of made up in the uh, Axe FX2, like this one. Or this one. Tons wow. of them. They're all in there. Wow. And the last thing that I would explain that I do a lot is I also have, as you can see at the bottom of the rack, the VG99 mm -hmm. Roland, the virtual guitar system. I've written patches with that that act as a second guitar. And sometimes they're, they're in harmony with the first guitar. They, they, they do different notes. Sometimes they are a similar sound that just fattens it up. Sometimes they're a sound that's really kind of, let me show you one of my favorite sounds. This I use a lot. This is just a very simple, very simple thing. Here's, here's the VG99 sound. See how it's very out of tune-ish, mm -hmm. wavering? I use that with the regular clean sound. To get a real nice yeah, sort of double effects, track right. kind of sound. Right. Uh, I could go on and on, but I think we've, we've run out of time <laughs> if we go on too far. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I literally amazing. have a, a few hundred programs written in there. No, it's awesome. I appreciate you taking the time today to, uh, to show us some of your toys. And, 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 and the uh, last thing I would tell you of about course. is that over here in the computer, I have Ableton Live. And uh, one of the things I use it for is, uh, is my looper. It becomes my looper. So if I want to play, say, both the parts that uh, Robert and I mm. both played together in Frame by Frame, <laughs> I can do that like this. There's my part. Right. Here's his part. It's supposed to go like that. I'm not doing it well, but <laughs> sorry, Robert. I do it real well every night, but it's, I'm a little rushed here today. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. It's Appreciate it. We're going we're gonna to talk to the, uh, your crew about, your, uh, about the rest of your setup. All Thank right. you so much for taking time today. My Appreciate pleasure. you so Thank much. You. Thank you. And have a great show tonight. And ice picks that stick on your guitar. Ice picks. P-I-X. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to cut right there. We're going to run back around and talk about this pedal board and talk about this amp behind me, the Bose system, and everything you see. Hey, everybody. I am here with Andre Chumley, who is running the show for Adrian Ballou, which is a pretty big task. He's very humble. He is extremely knowledgeable, and he's going to run us through the signal path. Adrian was uh, wonderful enough to take us through his guitar, his number one and his number two, actually. Correct. And uh, so for coming out of that 13-pin, Sure. Non-MIDI signal. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Run us through from there. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I'm the guy who plugs everything in and makes sure it runs right. And uh, I, I want to start out by saying, too, that um, while I had a hand in, in Adrian's older system, this system was designed by his incredible engineer, studio engineer, Daniel Rowland, okay. who um, then ran me through it. And I take care of it on the road and set it up every day. Um, but basically, yeah, out of the 13-pin um, uh, Parker Fly, um, it goes into the VG99, which at this point is almost vintage. I think those are about 15 years old. Right. That's a modeling device that, that you guys know well about. Mm -hmm. uh, Adrian goes into the VG99. VG99 has a guitar out, like a mono guitar out. Comes out of there and into uh, one of his favorite boxes, the Keeley compressor, which we all love. I mean, which is hiding in the back of the rack. And we'll show you the stills of that. And yep. he loves how that, uh, that just gives him a lot of sustain, just right. smooths out the sound. Right. So he uses the Keeley compressor for years now, and um, he hits that right away. Then he hits a sound blocks distortion, uh, the MIDI version, mm -hmm. so he could turn that on and off through MIDI. And then from there, it hits this Digitech memory, uh, Harmony Man, um, which is a pedal that was kind of designed with him as a, an inspiration by Digitech. He just has it set to a second up. <laughs> And he has a little trick that he does that he showed you guys. Right. He's been doing that for years with any kind of harmony pedal he can get. 
It hits that, and then it hits the Axe FX that everyone's very familiar with these right. days. Right. The Ultra is what he uses. Um, from the Axe FX Ultra, we're going right to the house um, uh, via some, some other things I'll get to in a second. But he goes right to the house and also to his amps. Uh, tonight we're using one to his atomic amp so he can monitor it. So um, that's pretty much the, the basic path into the VG99, into the Axe FX, one or two pedals in between there. Uh, the house is getting stereo Axe effects and stereo VG99. Okay. And Adrian controls the levels of those with, through this MIDI control. Pedals, right. um, if we jump to that for a second, he's using the liquid foot, the LF Plus, which is great. You know, I've used MIDI controllers going back to like the MIDI mitigator and all the different things in between, um, Schultz, whoever makes them. And uh, this is incredible because one thing, you always have a lack of information when you have a MIDI pedal. It's usually a tiny little screen. We love the liquid foot. It's got 12, actually 13 screens, right. 12 little ones and one. So you, he gets to see names of what's coming up. Uh, his, his looper is labeled, clearing the looper, his, playing his snippets, which are the little sound bites he plays. And it's all color coded. It's and all color coded. And you can get in there and make those any color you want. So liquid foot, really incredible. It's got four um, expression ins. We're using three of them with some Roland EV5s. Those are also, man, those pedals go back and you use them for all kinds of neat tricks. Um, so the whole system's under control of the liquid foot and, and using MIDI. Uh, jumping over to um, what, how he monitors on stage, he's on in-ears okay. and he's got both of those stereo signals in his ears as well as his vocals. Uh, and he also has just a stage wash coming from the atomic 50 watt reactor amp and his Bose L1. That's a tube amp, right? That's a tube amp. That's a 50 watt tube amp. And um, I think it's great. I love the atomic stuff. And they kind of have come about, it's a power amp. There's no preamp stage. Uh, actually, there's a 12AX7 in there, but there's, there's no preamp controls in the, in the traditional way of you know, uh, setting the tone and gain right. and things like that. Right. You've just got volume and the tweeter, on and uh, off. high end, and on and off. And you can, um, you can use it as a speaker cabinet or as a power amp. But they're great because they're angled, which is like, you and We know, were talking about that off camera, you know, how Fender did that years ago. That's right. Flip it back, there you were, and then everybody's, you know, just aiming at yeah. your, your knees, you know, you know or uh, your thighs, and, and you had to go high, and now. Yeah, pointed at your yeah. head. So, um, so that's great, he loves that. The Axe FX is in that, and in the L1s are the VG99, as well as his loops and some of the snippets. Jumping back over to how he does the loops, yes. and, and just to wrap up the system here, um, so again, uh, VG99 stereo, Axe FX stereo, they go into a Mo2. We've got a, a Mo2 um, 828 Mark III on the mm -hmm. bottom. Those are great too. That's an amazing unit um, that, wow, uh, just <laughs> still is one of the better ones. Uh, we control it all through QMix in, in the Mac. Um, QMix lets you set up your mixes and, and you know, so his in-ear mixes are set up there. The mixes that are going to the house are set up there and the mixes that are going to his Bose are set up in Q are set up in QMix. So it's great. We have the same mix every night. Sure. Um, his ear mixes are exactly the same every night, just tweaks the volume. And he's also running something else with the laptop. Exactly. The Motu, uh, um, the Motu also sends not only to the house, but into the laptop uh, via Firewire. And um, his, uh, his looping is being done in Ableton Live. So that's Ableton Live. He's been using that for the past couple of years. And um, Adrian's uh, a, 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 an artist um, who has used every looper under the sun. I sure. mean, going back, you know, Memory Man and, and the um, uh, all kinds of um, the Boomerang and the different ones from, from Roland, et cetera. He loves this one because it's limited only by your hard drive space. So, uh, uh, so he's using Ableton for looping and for playing these little samples, these little sound bites. Can I trigger one right Please. here and let people hear what this? So these little sound bites, you know, these are little, um, little samples that are eight, 10 seconds long that appear in this show. So that's it. The computer's just got those in there mm -hmm. and the looping. Um, although, uh, he's done other stuff with Ableton and he's going to continue to grow with that. Um, that's pretty much the whole system. Uh, down below there's a sure PSM 600. That's his ears. Right. And, um, we, you know, uh, we've also got a TC Helicon for some vocal effects that, you know, uh, we bring that in from time to time. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. um, now I do have a question going back to the uh, to the fractal, and he told us this earlier. There's a there's a closet, the, the magic closet at the his magic house. Closet. So yeah. the fractal can sample anything, you know, and you can put. Or basically Model anything. anything. Model yeah. anything. Exactly. Excuse me, right. not sample. Mm -hmm. But Adrian took a different approach to his tones. Can that's you correct. tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Well, that's another thing that Daniel Rowland uh, developed with Adrian. Um, you know, I worked for Adrian about f four or five years ago, uh, 06 to 2010, and then it's been a few years. And I, I remember we had this closet full of pedals, just and like, like his original, just, like stuff from the you know oh, 70s and 80s and stuff. Old you know, just, Fox tones, uh, old uh, delay units, uh, his Korg A5s that he used with David Bowie in 1990. You name it. You had a, a little history lesson just looking. And uh, I came back uh, years later and, whoa, all the stuff is arranged and plugged in and powered up in this beautiful, they built some shelves. And so what Daniel developed is basically a patch bay. And uh, you guys got some footage of it. Right. So you, you'll, you'll put that... But um, it's set up in such a way that, um, like a mad scientist, Adrian can go in there and say, what if that went into, went into this and that went into this? So he can uh, imagine any string of effects now and put them together. Uh, and, and Which is in a this gear junkie's, you know, heaven. It's gear junkie's <laughs> heaven, you know. Um, so, yeah, there's that. We were also talking about, and I think this is, uh, you know, remarkable about Adrian, uh, um, I mean, I'm a gearhead. That's why it's an honor to be talking to you guys because I, I watch this all the time. But I also grew up, um, like many uh, gearheads, figuring out what Adrian Ballou is doing. And, uh, you know, when I was 17, 18, 19 years old reading these interviews, he would talk about whether it was electroharmonics at that point mm -hmm. or early Roland, uh, things like the GR300 or whatever. And you had no internet. You had to just kind of read about it and figure it out. But what's remarkable about Adrian, um, uh, many things uh, creatively, is that um, he hears a sound, and he, let's say Lone Rhino, as he, he demonstrated, he hears a sound, he comes up with it, there it is, it's 1981. But then in 1985, when he switches his gear around, he's able to capture that exact sound, even though the, the, the gear's a little different now. Right. 1989, 1992, 19, wherever he goes, if he needs to get that sound from 20 years ago, and I, you listen to a lot of artists, they can't really do that as well. The, the sound ends up sounding like the new gear. Sure. You know, and, sure. and I'm, I'm always amazed that he finds a way, because he's a tinkerer, he'll sit there for hours with all the parameters. He makes it sound like that sculpture of sound that he came up with. And that's, I think, one of the incredible, um, inspiring things that he does with new gear. You know, what Fractal's done that a lot of others uh, haven't done is um, really... Um, just over designing on the chips and on the on the the processing power sure you know a lot of devices have just enough processing power they went way way and, and like just like audio when you got headroom things are going to perform better. a lot of headroom in this. a lot of headroom so th yeah. that's what i think sets that unit apart it's just got so much processing power that nothing's ever struggling to be a chorus or to be a fuzz tone right so right well thank you so much for your time thanks Absolutely. for having us up here on stage and showing us all the toys and uh and have a great time on the road. Absolutely. It's, it's been an honor talking to you guys. I guess one other thing oh, I yeah, forgot yeah. that's in the back, just for the completest nerds that are sure. going to watch this, <laughs> uh, like myself, there's a, a Radial Pro 8 in the back. Okay. And that's how we get everything to the house. Okay. So, um, and that's really cool because you show up anywhere, you know what your DIs are going to sound like. And, right. and the, the sound uh, engineer can just get right back there. Done. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's the whole rig. Beautiful. It's a great rig. Yeah, thanks, Thank you. guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great show tonight. Talk Absolutely. to you soon. For yeah. Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Premier Guitar, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thank you. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.